else. Once again, time to call out South Shore 12 for not covering the biggest story of the day, and that is the new Suffolk County Transit bus system. As of yesterday, October 29th, new routes and schedules went into effect, and today, Monday, October 30th, was the first weekday of those new schedules. But did South Shore 12 actually go to any, you know, bus hubs, interview people, you know, did they do anything? Did they send? Did they do, cover it at all? It's no, once again no time. they didn't. They didn't it's cover it at all. South Shore 12 again. Because they missed a very important story, obviously, the Suffolk County bus redesign happening yesterday. Today, the first weekday of it, but they didn't really talk about any of that. And we're going to show you what they did talk about because it needs to be uh, needs to be called out again. Standing up to hate, hundreds rally after anti-Semitic symbols are discovered. Politics. The they love politics. Sunshine returns for Halloween, but temperatures take a big dip this week. I'll tell you how cold it will get. <laughs> almost gone. And telling his story, a survivor of the Munich Olympic terror attacks on how it parallels the recent attacks in Israel. But first tonight, human remains found at Sunken Meadow State Park. So you think they're going to actually cover this properly, and it's, oh, it's their lead story. But then they only covered for a couple of seconds. Yeah, police say they were called to the park around 1 this afternoon. And we're told that police got reports of male human remains. The Suffolk Medical Examiner will conduct an examination. And we'll, of course, be sure to stay on this for you. and let Yeah, you know. I'm sure. I'm sure you won't, it won't be a priority for well, you. hate has no place here. So, yeah, that's yeah. the message from an East End community after residents found anti-Semitic symbols on buildings. News 12's John Dowding was there as hundreds of community members rallied. He shares with us why they came together. These are just the kind of stories they love to do. You know, they don't want to talk about crime. This is crime, but it's crime that affects white-collar people, right? And I'm Jewish, and I'm offended by it, too, but I don't think it should be the top story, all right? And new information tonight on that incident in Manhasset that allegedly saw a man story they cover. a gun at a six-year-old's head. Court documents show the boy's mother said her son was scared for his life. She told police she was yelled, don't shoot. <laughs> Be scary. What's going on? What's happening in this world? Well, it's another rich area, though. Now we're told everything right? happened after the boys' family. So again, they don't really want to cover news that happens at poorer parts of Long Island. All right. Also tonight, a survivor of the 1972 massacre of Israeli athletes at the Munich Olympics spoke at a synagogue in Great Neck. News 12's Kevin BC has this. Great Neck, another wealthy interview. area. Everyone was gone. Avraham Mel. Right. Notice how they keep showing the stocks down at the bottom. You'll see. I feel it wasn't You'll see. And they won big today. You see that there. They won big. Story tonight won very big. A panel discussion at Temple huge, Bethel actually. In Great Neck. He... So. And it's all political news. They don't really want to talk about the street crime that powerful stuff lower there. income in all areas on Long Island. And the acting Israeli Council General. And then this really gets me. They've been covering this all day. The police are stepping up patrols in Wanta after two of course, Wanta. girls were followed by a stranger. It happened. You know, this happens in my area, and they never report on it when it happens here, but it happens in the enclave. Like Wanta, well, stop the presses. It happened Saturday near Forest Lake Elementary on Beltaw Avenue. Police say a woman in an SUV honked and called to the girls from her window. And the girls hid and called their parents. Neighbors tell us it's just shocking. I love this It's one. scary that it's happening here in Wantua because it's like such a nice, close-knit community. Everybody knows each other. Yeah, everybody is the same. And as we've reported, police it's all homogenous, related to an white finance professionals. Down the road. How could it happen a in our little enclave? Was by a woman earlier this month. Police are now telling us that report is, quote, untrue. And thousands of fentanyl pills and loaded guns. And this man confessed to having it all in a home he was hiding out in, in Bayshore. Probably North say Bayshore. police found Chanty Belton in 2021. They tell us he was staying in the home to avoid arrest for a robbery he allegedly committed in Virginia. And yeah, we're told police also found methamphetamine pills and $5,500 really in cash. Now, Belton's expected to get 10 years in prison when he's sentenced next month.
Well, court tomorrow for one half of an alleged bank robbing couple in Suffolk. And Joseph Hill is accused of working with Stephanie DeMola to heist $3,500 from three banks in July. In each case, that we're told that Hill drove the getaway motorcycle. See, crimes that are priority, just read through it real police, quick. If you know? you candy bag in one hand. Right, but will they need a jacket in the other? Sam's here now with your yeah, home. It is it's going to be a little bit chilly, but you know, you think about the kids all running around from house to house and, um... Oh, she's really preppy. <laughs> she's very representative of the kind of people that this network gears to. Evil hell. Guess where this is? On the South Shore. A Sayville family yep. has transformed yeah. their home into a haunted house. <laughs> and while it may look scary, it was created to raise it's money geared to, to the help South those Shore. What can I tell a you? rare form of epilepsy. And they ask anyone who dares to enter to make a donation to the Dravet Syndrome Foundation. Yeah, this, is, this is news, right? This is what people want to hear. It's a healthy obsession. Uh, it's an artistic outlet. And it's, a, it's also a community event. This is life in the enclave for you. our community together. It brings our friends and family together, they work the haunt, they help build it, and it all ends up serving a really good purpose. Yeah, they, that, that's for yeah, sure. A good cause. Mm -hmm. And you can check it out until tomorrow night at 10 p.m. And our Caroline Flynn will be live to walk through the attraction on it tomorrow morning. That's at 5 a.m. Sayville! <laughs> right. Well, There's the stocks like candy, again. But it's sending kids to the hospital. There's always something to be concerned about, especially. I have a feeling they're going to be on the South Shore with that too. I have a feeling they're going to be on the South Shore again with those things. You want to make a bet? Arise! I'll let you know how cold it will. <laughs> I mean, and this this ad gets me too. Well, watch this ad. This ad really gets me. Long Island is East End wineries and Joe's Pizza Long Island is LIE traffic and LIE double R. Long Island is bagel, butter roll, beautiful beef. Long Island is Miss 12. No, it's not. Yeah, they don't show the Pine Barrens at all. The middle of the island doesn't matter to these people. Miss 12 is Long Island. Local matters. Middle of the island does not matter to them. Thunderbolt 12 is powered by. Oh, yeah, politics. We love politics. Well, vote 2023. The balance of power in both county legislatures. <laughs> well, credit ratings, you've got one, and so does your local government. Yeah, and the fiscal finance. Of, uh, one community is in the spotlight this November. Tonight, the future of Liberty Water is up for discussion. Yep, mm, back the to the South Shore. Shore. Authority held its third public meeting about a possible public takeover of the utility. Lindbrook and Merrick residents yep. are demanding the switch. They say their water bills are sky high. And as we Lindbrook and Merrick, propose a it's all about these people, pipe. man. It says it's needed for infrastructure improvements. Lawmakers tell us some multiple studies are underway to figure out if a public takeover would actually be more affordable. They want to make sure that if a public entity does take over, that we're not paying twice as much five years down the road. It's all geared to them, man. I'm telling you, it's all geared to them. Approved by the State Public Service Commission. Well, by this time tomorrow, lots of you will be home and you'll be helping your kids count their Halloween candy. That's right, and I'll be eating some of it, by the way. And <laughs> while you're doing that, though, police want you to look out for treats that could contain drugs. News Tell's crime reporter Krista McNally has tips to keep your kids safe. <laughs> this is, this is, these are the serious There's issues always something to be facing about, Long Island right like now. Being a, being a parent. Like many parents, Greg Moreno from Massapequa Park <laughs> will be checking out <laughs> people Park to make sure no tricks end up in there. <laughs> can't make this stuff up. Our boys, they're 12 and 8, and we go through 
everything they get. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's so obvious what this network gears to. South Shore 12. Especially because of their... So they'd be cooled out again. This is packaging right here. Yeah, this is the priority of the county, yeah. folks. The National Department of Health says the number of... Not getting the crime under control, control in the middle of the island. You no, know, as in muggings, robberies, burglaries, catalytic can Yeah, it's all about, about these people. Over five years. The number of all about these in people. In 2017 was 42 people. In 2021, there were 812 visits. I mean, look at all the time they give this. I mean, really. And there's the so stocks sure. again. You eat one gummy, how many person doesn't own Another corrupt one? person there. The problem with THC inside of Ryan gummy Ryan only cares about the South crap. Shore. The reaction can be very... He doesn't give a crap about Mineola at all. They're just completely forgotten. Along with chicken candy, police are asking you to join your children as they... How come I never see the police patrolling here, Mr. Homes. Ryder? Oh, we see them on the South Shore, though. Oh, back to the weather again. Oh, my God. She's so preppy, my God. It's just unbelievable. It really is. It really, really is. With this, this... Man who just took home the state crown. I mean, seriously, this is not news. Shakespeare. Where's the news? There is no news. They say we cover local news. No, they cover they cover what the snobs want to hear. The rest of us don't count for crap. Yeah, congrats to them. The band director tells us so obvious. Been practicing since July that all paid off. Absolutely. Well, local college performers are taking oh, on I think you've seen enough. this week.